Afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel. Thanks a lot of visit. A lot of people have been asking us to do some expose, some of our point of view about uh, Ken address. For me, I said it earlier that it will address. Uh, we see a recurrent decimal at the end of each week or beginning of each week. They send their food soldiers to create a rumor which will keep us busy. At the end of the month, Ken will come and make address which will keep us busy throughout the month, towards the end of the month to the middle of next month or the ending of next month for another uh, broadcast. So what I'm trying to say now is those that are in charge of the press conference, let them go ahead. Let this press conference be held so that we we'll know what is going on. If you listen to this speech, is like a plea somehow to not to do press conference and uh, a threat somehow although i know the comment session will be full a lot of people will say no we in this channel we are very much objective we don't spare anybody even ourselves you know we don't spare anybody we try to be very much objective we are not against anybody but what we are for we are not even we, we just want this disbursement that's all so we'll take a look at under underlying statements about this uh, uh, Ken's uh, uh, address to see how possible or see if he's telling us the truth about this disbursement and see how visible this disbursement so let so let's just listen and uh, pay attention we will be Analyzing what we feel, what we are getting from his uh, speech. Apostle Dr. Ambassador Ken Wakamba, so you're welcome to the meeting. So this this will be in two parts or three parts, two parts. Let's say two parts. Let's just be going. If it's two parts, uh -huh. if it's three parts, so two or three parts will be this uh, reaction to Ken's uh, address. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Lee. Thank you so much, the CEOs and partners. I'm going to be very brief in my speech here because my ears are full from the day we put this meeting. So many of you before now have been saying all manners of things against my person. And uh, I'm a leader. I can't run away from my responsibilities because I've been, uh, been, I've been a leader from birth. A leader from birth. He has been a leader from birth. I want to thank every one of you who find it fit to be part of this meeting irrespective of how you feel and what you are going through i would like to start with the how we started i used to make a statement that i'm this country director that does not know he is a country director it's god who put me into this and not a country director that does not know is a country director. We don't know what that means. And uh, 
you know what what we feel he's trying to tell those that uh, he said his god that put him there he's trying to tell those people that are agitating for his removal that they can't remove him because they are not the one that put him there and they will not succeed in removing him they are not the one that put him there it's god that put him there so that all that is what we you know, these are personal opinion these are personal opinion and I have been through a lot based on this very work. First, I want to apologize to every one of you who has so much trust in me to deliver your expectations. When we started, I never knew it would be like this. Now, he, he, you see, he, this statement has all since I noticed since uh, December, this has been a national anthem. He never knew it would be like this. It's in a learning process. He made a lot of mistakes, you know. Now, since December, I never knew it would be like this. Yes, we understand that this process is like, you know, things involved when you take leadership, but there are some things one do that is done consciously. He told us that 27th of December, this was meant to sacrosanct. For example, now you walk into a restaurant, you want to eat, you sat down, you read the menu, you ate after eating. Ah, I never knew it's going to be like this. I am not with money. That is not reasonable. He's an adult. He said he has been a leader from birth. So why is he making this mistake? Or why is he promising people disbursement? He promised people disbursement in January, December. Okay, let's leave the other past. The other past that has been let's talk about the recent December, then January, February, March, April. We are going into May. He's still saying the same thing. Let's go. When I was told to do screening, after one week, it will start this husband. I always be making statement that I am a man under authority. And none of you in the community. Now, this I'm a man authority, under authority has been a fundamental statement he has always been making. And we don't know the reason why. I'm a man under authority. What does he imply? Does he really imply that a man under authority, does he mean that people cannot touch him, he's untouchable, or does he mean that he's following instructions? He was said he doesn't know that I'm a man under authority, but I'm mean, saying that. After the screening, things didn't go the way I expected it because some of you, if you don't have money, why are you doing screening? If we do not do that screening and have those data verified and sent to the authority, we may not have arrived to where we are now. That screening activated us as a group of people that something is coming in their name. First, I want to apologize for all of you. Both. I want to apologize for. Do you apologize for all two? Okay, let's not be picking every statement, but we have to. We we have, we have no choice now because a lot of things have delayed and a lot of things are. We are trying to see, you know, through this statement if disbursement is imminent soon. So. The one reason or the other misunderstood my statement. Even as I'm talking now, somebody may be hearing something different. Yeah. They will not hear what I'm saying. That's because right. most of you has made up your mind. The leader has to be careful. To be insulting me every day. <laughs> there is a woman, I don't know that she was. And this statement is about to make now. He's always saying it. You know, the thing that makes some people annoyed is that. Uh, He's always making a statement referring to, yeah, a leader he has to be criticized. A leader has to be. If this disbursement was or was been has been done, there will not be any of this. So he say woman have been cursing him, cursing him, cursing him. This is to show that something is going on. Something is going wrong. So listen to he has always been making this referral of this calls that he has been receiving and text message in every speech since. December. A woman who always insult me every morning on a text message. And I was reading all the her uh, insults. Until one day I called her. When I sat there, I noticed what? A woman. He started laughing. 
And she's doing that to get me angry so that I can disrust. Mm-hmm. Me to started laughing at the mindset of this very woman. So believe you me, I, that is why I was angry with that thing today. I am at the center of this whole thing. So many things has happened. I remember when I told you before that this grant is like a snake in a clay pot. Mm-hmm. If you don't take time, you break the pot. Now, this is an address to those that want press conference. It's like a snake in the clay pot. Those that gave us the money did not make it a snake in a clay pot. Now is to disperse it, it becomes a snake in a clay pot. That's why I said earlier, is for those that want this uh, a press conference, this is like a statement to them to desist from press conference. For me, if it's like a snake in a clay pot, how long will the snake continue to be in the clay pot? And yeah, why should he be a snake in a clay pot? Why should there be secrecy? I hope, I hope, I hope you people are getting the whole gist. 